It's Umsum time! What if we could breathe underwater? Then I won't need to use my submarine anymore! Oh, <laughs> Umsum. Firstly, we could just jump in and check out the amazing coral reefs. Mm. Secondly, the way we fish could change forever. Mm. No more need of those fishing rods. Just jump in and catch your fish. But on the flip side, we will suffer from <sighs> hypothermia if we start staying in water for a long time. Mm. Secondly, our eyes have not evolved to see underwater. Mm. Also, many water bodies are not clear enough for us to see far off objects. Mm. Thirdly, communication would be a huge problem. Talking underwater <laughs> will not be easy. Mm. And our present electronic devices will not work efficiently underwater. Mm. Lastly, this might be very bad news for many species living underwater as ah. people will start building their homes underwater. Mm. <clears throat> what if we oh. replace water by soft drinks? Nah. We should replace salads by burgers and french fries. <laughs> oh, um some. If we replace our eight daily glasses of water with eight soft drinks, ah. then we would be in a big <laughs> trouble. In a real life incident, a woman drank soda instead of water for 16 years. She was hospitalized. She had irregular heartbeats and very low potassium levels. Artificial sweeteners and soft drinks can have laxative effects. Overconsumption of same can cause diarrhea. Many soft drinks contain caffeine. Overconsumption of caffeine can lead to loss of potassium via urine. Flow of potassium regulates our heartbeat. Low potassium levels may lead to heart palpitations or irregular heartbeats. Overconsumption of caffeine can also lead to insomnia. We might start staring more at stars instead of sleeping. Also, soft drinks are usually sugary drinks. Hence, this will also lead to weight gain or diabetes. Hmm. Hmm. What if we drink only seawater? Nah, I only drink chocolate milkshake. Oh, um, some. On an average, seawater has salinity of about 3.5%. When we drink seawater, water as well as excess salt get absorbed oh. in our blood. One of the functions of our kidneys is to remove this excess salt from our blood. But urine produced by kidneys has a salt concentration which is less than 3.5% of that of seawater. Hence, it ah. needs more water to remove all the excess salt. As a result, we feel thirsty after drinking seawater. Excess seawater consumption can lead to dehydration. Secondly, Excess drinking of seawater will also hinder the blood purifying process of our kidneys. How? Because solute concentration inside the filtering units of our kidneys will be lower than that of the highly saline blood. Hence, due to osmosis, blood doesn't get purified. Hmm. What if we stop drinking water? We will have to sell our water purifiers to scrap dealers. <laughs> oh, you are unbelievable. About 60% oh. to 80% human body is water. Huh? We need water for various purposes like digestion and excretion. Water is also a major component oh. of blood. However, every day we lose about hmm. 2 to 3 liters of water through sweat, oh. urine, breathing, etc. Hence, to compensate the water <laughs> loss, if we don't drink enough water, then we will get dehydrated. Huh? During dehydration, our brain works harder than normal. It informs kidneys to retain oh. moisture thus producing darker concentrated urine. It reduces the production of saliva, oh. causing dry mouth. Lack of water also causes our brain uh -huh. tissues to shrink. We get headaches and feel uh. nauseous. Our energy levels drop oh. and our skin becomes dry. Besides this, chronic dehydration can lead to severe health problems uh -huh. and even death. 